Hello, K-pop map. This is Wu Song, and I'm here to answer your question. Um, the title and the concept all came as an analogy. I um, and uh, what does dimples mean to me? Um, it's like. It's like my baby, right? It's like I've had it. I've had the song for three years, and for it to be finally out to this world for people to listen to, it's a new feeling. It's like I feel like I've been, um, you know, feeding the song and giving milk to the song, and then finally it's out. You know what I mean? So it feels like my baby. <laughs> um, a trap. Yeah. Yes, but barely. I added a bridge melody. Um, the bridge was always there, but it was gonna have no melody. But I added that, and everything else was basically the same, except for this, except for like one or two words. Um, exactly. How it happened, I think. Um, it was just an idea for me, but then um, the Zanny Bros production team made it come to life and it was better than what was in my head, so yeah. Oh yeah. Um the fun, I guess I guess after it was all shot, the fun part that or the most memorable moment would be the water scene, just because of how, you know, um, it was harder than it looked, to be honest. It was uh, yeah, yeah, and then and then there were the bugs. Um, so we went to this place that shot. Uh, it was right next to the ocean. The tunnel was, and our waiting area and our hair and makeup area had uh, a lot of bugs. Uh, they were these. I don't even know what they're called, but they were yay big, and there were like a hundred of them in one spot and then like 2,000 of them in another spot. So we were basically, I was doing my hair and makeup with the bugs. Yeah. The fan theories were all great. Uh, there were many where um, I didn't even, you know, think that far or there were really detailed ones, but I think the one that stood out to me was the ones that went so out of my original thought, just because that's what it is. That's the whole experience for you guys to interpret it yourself as your own story and listen to it. So yeah, the more, the rather than the more right ones, the ones that were really out there that created a story were the ones that stood out to me. Um, yes, but yes, just for me though. You know what I mean? Like, if you understood it, you did. If you didn't, it's okay. Like, it wasn't meant to be understood. Um, yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> no, I do not have any other, for now. Filmmaking sounds like a headache because I know how much detail goes in that and already music you know I've been doing it for 10 years and it's still a headache so to spend another 10 years for some from for something that I have no clue about not something that I'm looking forward to at this moment so yes you know I thought it was gonna be harder but it was much easier while I was doing it and I think that's because I had the trust of the audience that were gonna listen to it and even the audience that you know that didn't really know me I really didn't mind if they judged me for whatever I I think I was over it so it was actually pretty smooth and easy very I feel like always when you get to talk about yourself and you know while you're talking and while you're going through the stories you learn more about yourself so in that sense very much yeah Yes, uh, and it's what I'm doing now, music. It was a happy accident. It was, a, it was something that I was not expecting. If I fell for it too hard 
and that's why I had to just give up everything in America and what I had uh, planned for the future. Yeah. For OSTs, uh, I would like to do a ballad. The kind, you know the scene when it's like <laughs> the girl actress and the guy actress, or the guy actor, the girl actress and the guy actor, like something happens. And it, it, I'm talking about K-pop dramas right now. Something happens and they can't be together. So it's like they're, they're going apart and like you see them turn back and it's one of those scenes and my music comes out, the ballad song. Is it like the ending to you? Like Almost, yeah. Uh, yeah, before the before the advertisement and everything, the, the picture, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, Almost Paradise. Yeah, something like that. I don't know. Um, I draw my inspirations. I draw my inspirations from my listeners. And my goal for the future is to have more listeners.